How's it going, everybody? My name's Damien, and welcome back to Blue Collar. So this week we're gonna have we're gonna do something a little bit uh, a little bit different this week. Something we haven't done. All right, we're gonna be going on a test drive. First test drive of the channel, really. Well, there was one drive, but it wasn't really the greatest, and it wasn't a test drive. It was just to get it right here. So we're gonna do a test drive. Okay, we got some stuff to take care of before we go on that test drive. And uh, let me just turn the camera around and tell you what I'm talking about. Okay, we got a tired air up. It keeps going flat. For the 15th time after fixing it so we're just going to drive it with it aired up see if it fixes it we got to put our uh i don't know if you can see that in there our little gauge cluster is open we're going to go ahead and fix that why it's open is because i went ahead and rejuvenated on it so we're going to have to put that stuff back in there and underneath the hood which we'll get to in a little bit uh we're going to check some oil antifreeze and uh you know carburetor stuff just you know common stuff to check and then we're going to get this thing running up the road, driving around a little bit, come back home. And I think that uh, that's going to be all we're going to be doing this video. So it's pretty simple, pretty sweet. We're just going to go ahead and get right into it. All right, first things first, get in here and get ready to do this thing. Get over here. We're going to need you. Be careful with this. This is glass, and it's also really sharp. Ooh. We have water we'll clean that in a second and then i repainted this so don't scuff it put that right there ah, perfect now i'm just gonna set right there hope that none of that falls and put that on there and worry about the water i guess okay tires aired up dash pieces back in doesn't it look so much better now look at that Oh, by the way, don't uh, tighten it too tight because you'll crack your glass like I did right there. But not a big deal. And I didn't video either of that because I'm sure you guys didn't really care much about that, but definitely didn't want to see me air up the tire. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this water up real quick. You guys don't need to see that, and then we'll get up to the front and do some oil check and stuff like that. Okay. We have oils. Good, good job dripping it on the battery, by the way. Uh, you were supposed to catch that drip. Also, we don't have any anti-frizz. That's okay, we can find some of that. So I'm going to leave the cap off so I can remember. it. Carburetor seems fine. Bring the choke off. Whew, stinks in there. I had brake pedal a second ago, so I think we're good. I'm going to get some antifreeze and pour in here. Sorry for the down. I don't know if you... You're going... I'm looking down. It's, it's not because of you. You're sitting on a battery. And, you know, that's just the position that we have. Regardless, antifreeze, okay? Home tank. Now, we got this stuff, but in low quantity. So, we're going to have to take Deezy, get a little agua, and some antifreeze, which we have two jugs for some reason, both of which are not full. So, I'm going to grab uh, this one. <laughs> You, you didn't see that, but I just knocked over uh, something with gauges on it. So now i got to pick it right back up. Anyways, beyond this Tom buffoonery, we're going to get some water. Meet you guys back in the truck. Back again. Shady. No. We don't, we don't do that. Anyways, we got some antifreeze, and it's about yay full. It's green. I'm going to pour a little bit in here first, because I don't think we're too low. I think we're just a skosh low. Pour a little bit of that in there. Remember, folks, if you want to find a leak, make sure you do it with stuff that's expensive, not free water, okay? Now, you pour a little bit of that in there. Not all of it. Not enough. Just a little bit. Take your gander in there. You don't see nothing? It's okay. Get you some water. Spill your water everywhere. So you can't find the leak. Okay? Make sure not to get it in the fucking orifice at all. Continue to spill it. Everywhere. Pretend that your radiator is full. We're pretending. Get a little bit of the antifreeze again. 
you don't have to do it this way. I'm just being a moron. Uh, but yeah, basically 50, 50 shot here and freeze water. Okay. Depending on where you live, that'll differ. Okay. So make sure you know where you live the thing. Okay. Unless you buy the 50, 50, which I don't, I buy the concentrate stuff that you have to add water to. So there's that. Are we leaking anywhere? Hopefully not. I find the best way to do this is while it is driving. So, well, I say driving, while it's idling. So I think what I'm gonna do here is uh, idle this bad boy up. And I might try to find something for like a little overflow or something like that, like a jug, who knows. Hell, I might even use this thing. But we'll figure that out. Get a little zip tie action going on. We should be good to go. Let it idle. Put some in there. Don't put some in there. We'll check uh, uh, battery. Make sure it's charging like it's supposed to, which it should. And then move on from there. So, plan. Execution. Well, everybody. We found our overflow bottle. So... Don't ask me where I got it, by the way. But what I'm going to do is put a hole in the top of that lid there, shove a hose down through it, and then put the hose on the overflow, overflow part of the radiator and zip tie it down. Temporary usage. I almost kicked my cat. Also, uh, don't, uh, don't you guys have the same problem when you try to speak? You just talk too fast, your brain doesn't compute right, and then you become kind of dumb dents in the head if you will and you just speak over your does anyone else do that or am I the only one that does that I don't know just throwing that out there alright now what we're going to do is we're going to take this like I said and uh, put that hose in there just like so I'm kind of wondering if I could just take the lid off and do it but it would probably look better if I just got a hole drilled into it maybe drill bit or something We'll figure it out. I also need to look at the length of this hose. Of course, she's 15,000 foot too damn long. But, on a good note, that means we just trimmed some off there. So, I'm going to go get a bit drill. Right through, that's how they sound, by the way. Zip, zap, zap. Right through the top of that lid right there. Zip tie it to the truck and we're good to go. Wing. Danger. It's off center. Can you tell? It doesn't matter. But it wasn't exactly big enough. But if you just give it some love, I don't know how loud that's going to be. Um, it will be. Apparently, when you uh, when it feels like you're breaking the bottle, it's working. Also, make sure to get all this crap inside the bottle. That's supposed to be clean. We think about that stuff afterwards. Anyway. Sizing. Still not big enough. If 
By the way, most people say don't do this at home. I say the only time to do this is at home. Also, just so you guys know, please, for the love of God, um, be, care be careful when you do this crap. You know what I'm saying? Let's see if that's big enough. Come on now. I think that'll do it. I'm gonna trim this up a little bit though. Give it the love with the knife. Oh, I got it on my phone. Get off it. Get off of there. There we go. Sorry if that was unremarkably loud. If it is, I'll just edit it out, you know. Always cut away from you. Which you don't always do. And if you don't cut yourself with it, is it really yours? Please don't do that purposefully, but that's just apparently every knife that I've ever had, I've always instantly cut myself with it first. So I think that'll do it. Let me trim up this side of the hose. Well, we also have to make sure that, like I said, the length is good. So we're going to put this back down here. And I think we're going to do it like here. Can you guys see? Ugh. It's so hard to cut through. Okay. Wasn't as hard to cut through as I thought. Anyways, let me do this real quick. Show you the aftermath. All right. Here we are. There's a bottle down there. Sitting just so nice. Push it all the way down and zip tie it. Dang it, going nowhere. Gonna have to, you know, overfill that. Dribble down in there, but it's fine. Now, what I want to do is hook this battery post up here. Start this thing. And we're going to go ahead and watch this. It's going to circulate and do all its stuff. And pour some antifreeze in it. Well, everybody, this is going to set me back a little bit. Wouldn't you know it? Last time I hooked the charge and we're learning everything up. I stole that word, by the way. Uh, last time I hooked it up, it, it was charging, but I didn't allow it to charge very long. And now, of course, my battery's dead. So we're stuck here on the charger. I think what I'm going to do is uh, take the charger in the shop and let it charge overnight and uh, start again tomorrow because... Uh, Sun's going down here, and I only did a little bit, but my parents are going to go. Biggest thing to me, I was wanting to take this up to my grandpa's, show him, because he likes a truck. He actually owns one back out in the field somewhere, just sitting there. A little bit different than this one, but my dad, he also would love to drive this thing, and he's got somewhere to be today, so I think we'll wait till tomorrow. I'll let this battery charge, and that'll get rid of a lot of our problems, and then we'll keep this antifreeze and stuff in the truck so we can figure that out as well anyways that's going to be it for today unfortunately um i'm going to take the battery out off camera put it on the table and let it charge and i'll see you guys bright and early not really tomorrow afternoon so we'll see you guys then hopefully we'll get this thing up and driving around how's it going everybody day two we're back at the truck we went ahead and put the battery in here got it uh put in there expertly and uh, we're gonna get ready to start it and put some of that antifreeze in there like yesterday so that's what i'm gonna do now just wanted to come out here tell you what's going on all right everybody it's running and it's circulating as well i'm gonna idle it up you really see it moving in there so that's what we need we tested it made sure it was charging it went up on acceleration we were afraid it wasn't charging for a second, but it's been boiling all night, so it should be fine. I'm working on limited gas here, so me and my dad, we're going to get down the road real quick. Go have some fun with it, make sure all the tires are aired up. As soon as we back up, we're going to do a brake test and uh, move on from there. All right, my dad's driving. We're going to see if this goes anywhere. There we go. moving for the first
first time in who knows how many years. Dad knows these old uh, three speeds better than I do. Let's see if I can look out the window real quick. And we got brakes, gentlemen. They work. Here we go. 67 Dodge moving. Has brakes going under its own power in 20 plus years. We gotta. We still have to fix the. Um, man, I forget what it's called. Marshall Basically, the clutch. the clutch isn't shifting in the right spot off of that uh, yeah. that pedal down there. We'll have to fix that. All we gotta do is adjust it. So we'll fix that soon. But look at that, everybody. We're getting down the road. Make sure nothing's falling out back there. Yep. Yeah, it's a shame that fuel gauge ain't working, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, like I said, I think it's a gauge, but yeah. we should have cleaned the windshield a little bit. Can't see nothing. We got good acceleration. Everything's working like it should, so we're just gonna scoot down the road a little bit. Well, we're still getting down the road, me and Dad here. We're having a good time. Uh, long time in the making everybody I know we still got some stuff to do but we're having a good ride right now <laughs> going down the road it sounds good it's doing everything it's supposed to be doing that I fixed so I mean you couldn't ask for a better truck than this right now this is the darkness in my dark and if it's charging in the keg will work yeah well as, as long as I positive. Ether, dad's talking about the amateur over there he says it says it shows to be charging Unfortunately, the other two, the fuel gauge, it looks like the speedometer and the temperature are not working, so we'll have to get into that. But we'll turn this camera around and let you guys see some more of the uh, road in just a second. That's uh, all the speed so far.
parking brake works. It took a little bit for it to heat up, but this thing runs like a champ now. All I got to do is, you know, spit shine it a little bit, but man, this sure is a good little ride, good toy to go around with. Sounds good, runs good. There's a few things that need to be fixed on it, but this is a solid little truck just be putting around with, you know. And it finally moved from right here. It's been sitting there for God knows how many months now. But, man, that's nice. And me and my dad here, it was a real fun trip. He hasn't drove one of these in a lot of years. So for, for him and me to get in something like this that I fixed up and drive around, it means a lot, you know. So we're going to go ahead and shut it down. Well, first I'm going to test to make sure it's charging just idle in there and stuff. And uh, move on, see what's what's going on what's going on with it you know test a few things and just sit back in awe you know what I mean well everybody it was a real fun time hanging out with me and you know just me and my dad driving this whole thing around makes me feel really nice to see this thing drive after so many years and uh, I'd like to ask a lot of you people out there if, if y'all are you know wanting to do stuff like this don't be afraid to get out there and do it um, there's always some setbacks I still got some stuff to do like I said uh, but get out there and get it done, man. It, it makes you feel uh, real. It's a different kind of feeling, you know what I mean? Especially if you can do it with a significant other. It's just, uh, it's good, you know what I mean? So please, if you can, if you want to, just get out there and, you know, get to work. Stuff like this is some people's dream. And, uh, you know, even if, if you don't want it for yourself, you can help somebody else get what they wanted to. Because... Like I said, I'm probably not going to be able to keep it, unfortunately, because I don't have the funds to keep doing what I'm doing without buying and selling. But, you know, someone else is going to love this thing, too. So we're going to we're going to finish this thing up. And thank you guys for watching this week. This has been a, a wonderful week so far. I know it's just been a couple days. I got drilling stuff. But thank you guys for watching. That's this thing driving for the first time in, you know, 20-something years. Uh, maybe even longer than that. I can't count. You know, small school problem. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, if you don't, please tell me why. Throw it a, a comment in there. Help the al algorithm. Like, subscribe. Everything you guys want to do. So thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. And I appreciate you guys tuning in for this one. This is a real nice uh, video. And uh, it was something special with me and my dad. So thank you guys again and see you on the next one.